Homosexuality, is it a problem in need of a cure? Grabs your attention, doesn't it? And as you probably know, California is one of the most liberal states in the country. But wait until you hear about this law. Since 1950, health experts have been required to seek a cure to homosexuality. Lawmakers are in the process of repealing it, but some are saying not so fast. Richard Cohen is a psychotherapist and an author. He's also a husband, father, and self-described former homosexual. Bonnie Lowenthal is a California assemblywoman. She wrote the bill to erase the law. Assemblywoman Lowenthal, let's start with you. How did you first hear about this law? An organization called Equality California came to me with this suggestion. Uh, you know, this law has been on the books for 60 years, uh, and it's quite useless and rather offensive to many, including myself. And tell me why it's offensive to you. Tell me why you wanted to take action right away when you heard about it. You know, the law that was written 60 years ago reflected values that were in place at that time. Homosexuality was listed as a mental disorder by the American Psychiatric Association that was removed in the 70s, and today's values are quite different. Uh, I think we all believe in striving for human and civil rights for everybody. It seemed very reasonable to remove that at this point. And Richard, let me ask you, uh, do you think that your homosexuality was a mental disorder? I think that we should keep this bill, the uh, 8050 in California, for two reasons. One, it says let's do research why sexual predators abuse children. And I am a survivor of sexual abuse. So to do research to find out why predators do this is excellent. Secondly, it says let's do research about the causes and the healing of homosexuality. Now we know there's people who want to live a homosexual life. And then there's those who wish to seek change and come out straight. That's been my journey. And as a psychotherapist, I've literally helped thousands of men and women around the world change from homosexual to heterosexual. So I think this is fantastic that California has this code to allow mental health researchers to find out solutions for both abuse and also for those with unwanted homosexual feelings to fulfill their dreams and their desires. I'm living proof that change is possible. Well, let, let's separate uh, sexual predators from, from a, a, a homosexual person. I mean, you weren't a yes. sexual predator, right? I mean, you said you were... No, I was sexually... When I was five years old, right. I was sexually abused. Right, you say abused, you were sexually but abused. I'm, but but, yes, but, but in, let's talk about yeah, homosexuality. Okay. I mean, right. did you think you had a mental disorder because... No, you, no, 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 not at all. There are, last week, the American College of Pediatricians released a fact sheet for youth stating there's no genetic cause to homosexuality. It's caused by environmental, familial, and temporal issues. Therefore, it's definitely reversible and changeable. So this code in, in, in California, 8050, says let's do research and then let's help this population, this minority, who wishes to come out of homosexuality. I understand that Bonnie wants to protect the gay and lesbian population, and that's admirable. They need to be respected and protected. However, there's those of us who are former homosexuals and also those who wish to come out of homosexuality. They deserve the right of self-determination as well. Bonnie, what do you say to Richard? Um, I appreciate those comments, but I believe the state has no business in, uh, in the research that uh, Richard is referring to. Again, this was um, a law that was passed 60 years ago in response to something entirely different. Uh, homosexuality was shoehorned into that law. It didn't belong there. It never belonged there. And um, I don't believe the state has, has any business in working on that. The fact is there are major universities throughout this country that choose to do research on sexual predators. We have very solid laws in place today in California dealing with the issue of sex offenses. Homosexuality has no place in that. You believe uh, that, that you were cured from homosexuality, Richard, so yes. why do you need a law like this? Because this law says let's do research right there in California is the headquarters for the National Association for the Research and Therapy of Homosexuality, or NARTH.com. 
and to get funding to investigate the causes or etiology of homosexuality and how people with unwanted homosexual feelings can change it's almost virtually impossible so actually california could be on the cutting edge of this research which would have implications worldwide and again you know, I, I, as you said, Kira, I'm a former homosexual. I'm married to my wonderful wife, Jaysuk, for 28 years. We have three children. I'm living my dream, and there's thousands of men and women around the world who want this opportunity, and they don't even know it exists. So I think this law should stay on the books, and let's promote research to help those with unwanted homosexual feelings. And also, we need to protect all uh, active homosexual men and women, gay and lesbian, they also need to be honored and protected as well. Richard, and, what do you, what do you yes. say to, to the critics that say, wow, I'm listening to Richard, I'm looking at yeah. Richard, and I feel so <laughs> sorry for him because he's denying his true self? No, I'm, I have fulfilled, Kira, I have fulfilled my destiny. I actually had a partner, a male partner, for three years, but in my heart, I had a passionate desire to marry a woman and create a family. I went to several therapists and they said, well, you're born this way, accept it. I knew that wasn't true for me, so it took so many years to figure out why I had homosexual feelings and then come out straight. And as uh, for 20 years now as a psychotherapist, I've helped, as I said, hundreds in therapy and thousands in healing seminars. Changeispossible.com, that's our website because we know that change from the inside, not just behavioral change, uh, Kira, this is internal change and Dr. Dr. Robert Spitzer of Columbia University did a study published in 2002, Archives of Sexual Behavior, showing 200 men and women who reversed from homosexual to heterosexual but, but, and they changed their orientation. Let, let me get Assemblywoman in here to, to button this yep. up. Assemblywoman Lowenthal, uh, you know, have you had any opposition to this? Have, 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 has anyone been storming your office, banging on the door saying you've got to leave this law into place? No, that's a great question, Kira. <laughs> Everybody is very supportive. All the people mm -hmm. I've talked to both in my district as well as in the Capitol believe this is old wording. It has to go. It doesn't reflect the values of the people in the state of California today. Well, we will follow up, that's for sure. Richard Cohen and Assemblywoman Bonnie Lowenthal, I appreciate you both for your time. Thank you. Thank you.